Over the past three years, the UK has seen a significant rise in the people converting to veganism. A vegan diet involves cutting out animal products like meat, fish, dairy and eggs and using plant-based substitutes. The vegan trend has seen many restaurant chains and food manufacturers launch special products to cope with the new demand. This week saw Cadbury's launch a plant-based dairy milk bar and Nestle's announced an egg and shrimp, egg and shrimp substitutes for vegans. So what has caused the rise in veganism? To help us answer some of these questions, we are joined by Francis Jordan, a spokesperson for the Vegan Society. Morning, good to have you with us. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So why do you think people are turning to veganism? I think there's a few reasons, really. I think um, conversations around climate change and the environment are really big things, especially in the last couple of years. Um, we know that a vegan diet takes a third of the land and a third of the water um, than, than a traditional diet. So people who are kind of eco-conscious um, realize that a vegan diet, you know, is a really good way to go. I think um, health concerns, um, there's lots of facts and figures around, you know, it can lower cholesterol, um, less likely to die of heart disease. You're more likely to have a really good BMI, um, lower cholesterol, things like that. And I think the pandemic's kind of really spurred that on a bit further. You know, we're hearing um, all the things that we should be doing to protect ourselves, not just from COVID, but things like flu and things like that. So a vegan diet in general is quite good for your health. And I think for a lot of people, um, particularly the people we speak to at the Vegan Society, they're really driven by animals. So a love and passion for animals. Recently, there's been more and more about kind of the actual truth, what goes on, um, how farmed animals are treated and things like that. So I think for a lot of people, particularly people who kind of over-index in empathy, um, things like that have, have driven them to go vegan. So can I, can I just say that, though, just to come back to some of the points that you made, because uh, when you say vegan diet, do you mean a strict vegan diet? I mean, I'm, I'm Greek and follow the Mediterranean diet, which is very much a plant-based diet, which I completely believe is the right diet for, for us to have. Um, are you a strict vegan? Yeah, so there's there's so many labels I think now at the moment. So um, I was vegetarian before. <laughs> so I was vegetarian before, um, and then I basically cut out um, dairy, eggs, and honey. So yeah, I I now um, follow a vegan diet, but also outside of food, um, I wouldn't wear fur. I wouldn't, you know, wear wool, so things what, like that. So veganism is more of a lifestyle. Take what t supplements do you take as a vegan? Um, pretty much actually the same as I was taking before. So um, the Vegan Society have a supplement that was created by vegans for vegans. It's called Veg One. Um, that contains things like vitamin D, which even meat eaters are lacking in because sadly we live in Britain. It's not sunny all the time. Um, it's also got things like... Um, B12 in it, um, which you can get from a vegan diet, things like you can get it in Marmite and, and things like really, that. But you can't really absorb it, though, can you? I mean, I think my point is that I'm, I'm obsessed with people having healthy diets, especially children. It's really important to me as a mother and a nutritionist. And one of the things about vegan diet that is that you have to supplement it. You cannot. I mean, if you can, if you, you can do pure veganism maybe for a month as people do and feel good on it but it's not a sustainable way to live and it's not good for children and if you have to supplement a diet then surely that can't be a healthy diet because a healthy diet you should be able to get everything from it and some of the other points you made that I found really interesting about kind of animals and stuff because I'm so pro animals is that it's deciding which animals are more important isn't it because you know when they kind of plow all these fields to make a lot of the vegan fodder that's on the market now, I mean, a lot of rabbits and kind of rural animals are being killed because of that. It might not be a, a sheep or a pig, but it's still an animal. And I wonder how, as a vegan, you kind of weigh that up. So we definitely believe that all animals are completely equal. Um, we get that question quite a lot because because of things like the farming process and things like that. Um, the Vegan Society's outlook is, you know, we, ha we have to be realistic. We live in a world where not everyone is vegan. We don't have completely fully vegan practices. Thanks. So we say like being vegan as far as is practical and possible. So medicines are tested um, on animals currently. We wouldn't tell someone not to take the medication they need because they want to be vegan. So it's just about finding really what works for you. But in terms of the actual farming processes, a lot of the, the feed that's for animals um, that the, we then kill to eat, um, we actually find that's where, um, you know, things like people always say, oh, well, vegans eat soy. 
um, and that's where all the, the soy crops um, come from. But actually, a lot of that soy feed is for animals that we then slaughter. Um, well, also, I, so, yeah, it, I, 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 Francine, I'm a, what you'd call a sort of a flexitarian. So I do do vegan a couple of days because I'm dairy free. So I have to um, do that. And then I will do eat fish and I do eat meat. But I do have what I'd call a balanced diet. But when I do my vegan dishes, I keep to sort of veg and then I'll do pulses and, you know, chickpeas or what have you, grains as it were. I don't get the substitute meats. Kind of Frankenstein meats. Yeah, I, I'd sort of, if I'm not doing meat, I wouldn't do any of them. I'd keep to, to what's best. Do you promote sort of that substitute meat? Because that to me is highly processed. Or would you say, no, Esther, what you're doing is the right thing. Sort of stay away from those sort of processed meats. So I'm exactly like you. I follow what's called kind of a whole foods plant based diet. So very much like lentils, pulses, chickpeas, things like that. Um, my cupboards are completely full um, of things like that. I think interestingly, so the vegan society has the vegan trademark and that's the little sunflower logo that you'll see on, on vegan products. What we're not we're not endorsing it. But what we're saying is is. It has been tested on every level. You know, it's not tested on animals. It doesn't contain an, any animal ingredients. Um, he mentioned Cadbury's before. We actually um, trademarked the Cadbury's um, dairy milk bar, the vegan version that doesn't contain dairy milk. Um, and what we're saying, what we find is that actually if you're someone who we hear a lot of people are just like, well, I can't change overnight. I wouldn't know where to start and things like that. So, yeah, what happens is you'll find vegans who have been vegan for a few years won't necessarily eat those those fake meats or, or meat alternatives and things like that. But it's a really good way to get someone to initially transition. If you can say to them, you know, swap this for this. If you absolutely love your Burger King, now you just buy the, the vegan version, which is better for the, for the animals. And then slowly over time, when people get used to it and they realize, you know, what they can do with aubergine, cauliflower, all these things, <laughs> then eventually they might decide to give up those things. But I think... The, the faux meats and, and things like that, they're definitely a good way for people who are just so far of the, off the spectrum of ever going vegan. The thought kind of horrifies them, but actually they give it a go. They realize it's quite nice and then it might over time make them um, try veganism. Welcome to the GB News YouTube channel. You can watch us live 24 hours a day, catch up on your favorite shows and join in the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and you'll never miss any of our exclusive content.